Hi, I'm Karthik, a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. On this channel, Design School by WP Algorithm, I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials so that beginners can build amazing websites with ease. If you're new on this channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In today's video, we'll discuss how to implement Lottie animations into your WordPress website. Well, there are three main methods in which you can do this. The first one is by using the native Gutenberg interface. The second one by using Elementor free version and the third method by using Elementor Pro, which is probably the best implementation because you can tweak code without actually touching the code, which I'll show you in this video. So stay tuned, keep watching. So here's a quick intro to Lottie files. Well, you can see the animation that you're seeing right now on the screen is actually a Lottie animation. And you can see the type of companies using Lottie animations. And you can see all of these are tiny lightweight animations and they're based on JavaScript. Well, you don't have to understand anything. So starting with method number one, which is to implement it natively using Gutenberg interface, no third party add on. So if I add a new post, I'll just call it Lottie post. I'll go to lorem ipsum. I'll paste some lorem ipsum test till here. I think would be great copy, go to my Gutenberg post or page or any custom post type, paste it. Now, how do you implement Lottie animation? So let's say I just want a Lottie animation after this paragraph. So you just hit enter. You just type forward slash that gives you the ability to pick the kind of block that you need. Now you want to pick this block, which is custom HTML. So once you pick that, just go to the Lottie file. So let's say I just want to embed this animation into my Gutenberg post. I'll just click on it and you can see that it is showing an element icon over here. I'll just click on HTML so that we can get the code. And once you get the code, which is over here, which says generated code, you can customize how the animation should be performed when you hover over it or whether it should auto play or not, whether it should loop or not and all that stuff. You can also customize it later using code. So I'll just copy this code, go to my post and in this HTML block, just paste the code. You can also click on preview to see the Lottie animation in action. So just like that, we embedded Lottie animation without any third party plugin, not even Elementor is required if you want to do it natively using Gutenberg. And if you want to customize it, you can remove some of the attributes. So let's say I just don't want the controls. You can remove this controls attribute. Let's click on preview now. And now you don't see the controls and paste the code again. If I preview that it's showing the controls for now. So if I remove the controls from here, you can see that the controls are gone and the animation is being played, which is the way we want it, right? And you can also change the width and height from here. You can also remove autoplay and you can do a lot of stuff just by changing the attribute. So this is method number one, which is to implement Lottie animations natively using Gutenberg. Once you publish the post, you can click on view. And one more thing to note is that if you have a security plugin like WordFence, they may try to block this code since it's a JavaScript. You may have to whitelist this or temporarily deactivate your security plugin for this to happen in your native Gutenberg interface. Now that brings us to method number two, which is to implement it using Elementor free version. Of course, since it's a visual way, you see what you get or what you see is what you get. The method is similar to that of the Gutenberg interface. Just click on HTML and it opens up this editor and you can change few attributes from here by using this interface. Maybe you can have a background color for your Lottie files. You can choose to hide the controls right from here. So if you uncheck this, the controls will be gone. And once you customize it the way you want, and if you want advanced customizations, you can click and it will take you to GitHub and tell you how to do that. Well, exactly that's what Elementor Pro's Lottie file widget does. So we'll reserve that for Elementor Pro since it doesn't require us to tweak or tinker with the code. So we have this code here again, the same thing, copy it again, go to any Elementor page post or a template, just drag in your HTML widget of Elementor, you know, the HTML widget, right? Just search for HTML 
and it's this one not the custom HTML widget this HTML widget within that just paste your lottie file code and just like that your animation will start playing since this is elementor you can do all sorts of stuff you can have margin you can have padding you can do custom positioning of this lottie file better than the Gutenberg interface so you can pick absolute you can move this file around place it anywhere you want you can also change the width of the file I will maybe it's not affecting it exactly so if I say 10% you can change the width natively by changing this width and height attributes it's supposed to change but it didn't change but anyway this is how you implement lottie files using elementor free version and that brings us to method number three which is to implement lottie animations using elementor pro and probably the most elegant way of handling lottie files on your wordpress website it, once you have elementor pro you can search for lottie there is a new widget called lottie widget just drag it in and it shows a preview animation you can either pick media file that you can upload on your own browser or you can pick external url all we need to do to implement it in elementor is to just paste the url of the file so let's say i just want to implement this file i can simply copy the url go to my elementor interface and just paste it just like that the animation is embedded you can also link it to a custom url you can make it a button if you want that can open pop-ups or anything you can have various triggers for the slotty animation so only if you click it the animation will play or you can have it on hover so when you hover over it the animation will play you can also loop the animation if I remove the loop I think animation will only play once and it doesn't play the second time but if you want it endlessly you can do that you can also say how many times you want the animation to occur and you can also do what you want on hover out so it will reverse the animation so hover area you can set it to column or section or even the widget itself or the animation itself you can also change the speed from here you can see how fast that animation is playing you can also slow it down by having a number less than one you can drag this slider around you can also pick the starting point of your animation and also the ending point so it only plays a part of the animation not the whole animation it doesn't look really smooth because we just specified the start and ending points of the animation you can also lazy load it so it will be loaded when the user reaches this widget or wherever this animation is which is pretty neat you can go to style tab you can change the width previously we weren't able to do that using the html widget in elementor free but this is what having elementor pro looks like you can change the width you can also set a maximum width you can change the opacity of the whole thing you can also add css filters so it changes the color saturation and stuff so if you, you can change the element just by playing with the hue slider you can also have a little bit of contrast right all the css filters all this just drag and drop interface which is really neat and this is the most elegant so let's have an animation for download and we'll use it as our download button or an elementor button so i searched for download but I, i'll search for button i'll just click on button let's take a button from here you can see it adds that bit of depth to it i'll again copy this come to my elementor interface again i'll search for lottie click and drag the widget you can also download the file and upload it onto your website if you don't trust this so i'll just click on download i'll download it as lottie json you can click here to upload the json file i'll click here 
select files and it will be there in my downloads which is this one and click open and there's our downloaded or json you can simply click on insert media and just like that we have it natively on your on our website instead of hosting it now you can pretty much customize the way you want it so you can loop it endlessly if you don't mention the times it will loop endlessly you can change the width of the button so it adds that bit of personality to your website and you can change the way in which it should be there i'll just click on custom url you can also do dynamic actions such as open a light box click on light box you can open a pop-up you can open a light box maybe i can have this image show up whenever i click that i'll update i'll click on the eye icon let's click it and just like that it opens the light box you can use it any way you want you can have other dynamic actions for this so you can even open a pop-up with this you can do acf url field you can point it to a post custom url or your archive url or site url or basically any url that you want and that's how you implement lottie animations in your wordpress websites three methods one by using gutenberg interface second by using elementor free version and the third one probably the best is by using elementor pro if you don't have elementor pro you can get it from the link in the description that's it for now if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up i'll catch you in the next one until then peace